from Hamilton. This is the song I want to sing with you, Ski. Okay. A great song to sing. And who is this? <clears throat> Let's see if we can um, pull this off. You guys ready? <clears throat> uh, it's called Your Obedient Servant. How does Hamilton, an arrogant, immigrant, orphan, bastard, or son, somehow endorse Thomas Jefferson, his enemy, a man he has despised since the beginning, just to keep me from winning? I want to be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens, the room where it happens, yeah. You kept me from the room where it happens for the last time. Dear Alexander, I'm so to anchor, but I told the line as a reckoning in the effects of your life on mine. I look back on where I stand, and in every place I checked, the only common thread has been your disrespect. Now you call me a mortal, a dangerous disgrace. If you got something that's pain in my time and place, face to face, I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A doctor, Mr. Vice President, I am not the reason no one trusts you. No one knows what you believe. I will not equivocate on my opinion. I have always worn it on my sleeve, even if I said what you think I said. You will have to cite a more specific grievance. Here's an itemized list of 30 years of disagreement, sweet cheek. Hey, I am not the shy. I am just a guy in the public eye trying to do my best for our republic. I don't want to fight, but I won't apologize for doing what's right. I have the honor to be your obedient servant, H.I.M. Careful how you proceed, good man, in temporary indeed, good man, and support the accusations I lay at your feet, oh, big lead, good man, her. Your grievance is illegitimate. I stand by it, every bit of it. You stand only for yourself. Uh, I can't apologize because it's true. Uh, because it's true. It's dead, Alexander. We shall get drawn. I'm drawn. You're on. I have the honor to be your obedient servant. A dot him. A dot burr. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to do that. With you. <laughs> I'll have to practice it a lot. As